guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're over on our test server. We're gonna check out the brand new Hypogen hero, uh, Leo Frick. So we're gonna go ahead and get him as a trial hero. We're gonna try him free for three days. I wanna pop him in this formation. We're already into chapter 32. As you can see, he had that little um, pet there. Boom, his little, I, I think that might be the how worm is kind of what it looks like. Ultimately, a lot of people have said, why is that not in there for the graphics or why does he not have the pet here? So ultimately, this is the team I've been running with Rosaline and the update. You can actually go ahead and put Rosaline on who you want to follow. So very, very cool addition. So we're just going to pop him in here and see exactly how well he does. They did give us a plus 22 signature item on him. So not too bad. Enemy struck by the ability how worms shall receive 15% more damage from Leo Frick's attacks the following four seconds. Then as you can see, 25% for four seconds. And then um, enemies struck by the Hellworms shall receive damage from all attacks for four seconds. And then of course the plus 30 is all attacks for six seconds. Very, very strong there with the signature item to increase damage. Enemies that are currently taunted by the ability Shadow Massive, which is his Shadow Tome that he gets, um, have their health regeneration reduced by 90%. So I'm thinking he's going to be pretty good because of the fear aspect, guys. That is what people love about him. So we're going to slow this down. Want to see, so there he just gets pulled in. But look at the fear, guys. There he goes, invisible. So again, it, it seems like he's going to be very, very specific with a, a skill set or what is going to work because right there is the fear or that's actually Pharrell's fear but there he goes invisible with Rose there's his fear I feared everyone guys wow even though he went down relatively early um, fears everybody Let's put him in the top to get, get that crowd control to work. See, now I'm worried about, there he goes, invisible. It looks like he went invisible there with Pharrell. And we had a banish on Shimira. So very interesting. There's the fear again, guys. Tassie's feared. We have Nemitsu feared. So there he goes, invisible again. Boom, there's his ultimate ability. So it seems like he overall is going to be very, very strong. Look at him just waiting out that immunity with Shimira, ultimately because him and Shimira are both going immune. So I think it's going to be a little bit closer to like what we see with um, Ullard. So even there, 14 million, uh, 30 million damage there. Didn't do that much damage, but ultimately with the immunity, especially if you only have two targets left, um, it, it seems like it's going to be really broken. I can see it being really broken with Lucretia, just because if he goes invisible and Lucretia is still attacking, um, she's going to burn down targets fairly fast, especially because she's going to be immune to damage. There we go. So Rowan went immune there. There's the fear, guys. Everyone. He fears everyone. Wow, that is a crazy strong ability. And Shamir's dots, there's the fear, guys. They, they just stay in the fear. Even though he was immune, even though he had his invisibility up, he was still, he was still immune and still using his abilities. So he just, I can see him being very broken in PvP as well. Um... Very cool to see. Very, very cool hero to see. All right. So again, let, let's see what he does here. But I don't see him summoning up that totem. See, there he goes immune. He went immune with Rose again, which he usually does. There's the fear for everybody again. And we can even get several dots off them from, from Shamira um, with them being feared. 
that that just seems so overpowered. Like I said, especially if he is one of the last heroes standing, um, it it seems like it is going to be that that is going to be very very tough to deal with. I'm not sure how I had Kaz in there. I think I'd seen that I had Kaz in there. This one we're still doing the Eron with the um the the Leica and the Pharrell here. And again, guys, remember this is on the test server. So this is once they've nerfed everything. So there is a massive, massive nerf coming Tuesday, as we know. Um, all of these stages, well, pretty much all of the campaign um, stages are going to change with the requirements of the teams. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what happens with those. All right, guys, so he comes out again. I don't see where he's, he's either, I, I think he's summoning up that totem and that totem is dying too quickly. Is what I'm thinking because even slowing it down. There he goes, he goes immune and he looks like he went immune with Rose over here. One thing I don't like is, is if you notice with the immunity, where's our fear? So he got charmed. So ultimately, guys, when they go immune, so essentially when um, Lyric goes immune with Rose, they can't be targeted. So the rest of the team just gets destroyed. There we go. go goes immune right there. So now you're leaving Shamira out here all by herself. There's our fear, guys. But Shamira is ultimately staying out there um, way too long, essentially, by herself for that to be super effective. I wonder what the Eron Leica combo, what that would kind of look like. And again, guys, we're just kind of playing around with it. So Eron still got the pull out. There's the fear. Seems like it's, it's going to take some... Um, it's going to take some time to really see where he's going to work. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out some team comps with him. Because again, guys, we, we've been focusing on the, the, um, the Rose and the Shamira carry here, which let's go ahead and drop Rowan in here. He has a very, very cool skill set. And even there, Shamira's immune. There's the fear. So boom, we get the alt off. And he, if he's just hanging out in the back row, he is gonna fear everyone again. There's the immunity leaving Shamira again by herself. There's the fear though. There's the ultimate, so there's the totem up. Survives a little bit, there's the fear. So are they gonna be able to take this out with Rose? They're going to. Not too bad overall. So definitely not, um, not very strong for the damage wise, but ultimately guys, with him being support, with him being a, a, a distraction with that totem. We got totems in the back. There's the fear guys. Now I want to see his alt. So here comes the alt. There's Shamira's alt, there's his, so the totem pops up right here, it should be. See, no, I didn't, I didn't, oh, it popped up on Thorin. So Thorin took down the totem. Remember, I think it targets the enemy with the highest attack rating. So ultimately, the, the totem went up on Thorin on that time. We're going to have the switch here with Shamira. Boom. I think he's... Ah, uh, they got some potions. There's the invisibility with Rose again. Again, leaving Shamira open. I really question how well that is going to... Um, that's going to work, it, especially with leaving Shamira open with that banish. Or anyone, for, for that matter. Because there's the fear, again, leaving Shamira completely wide open. But look at the fear, guys. 
seems like we're we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to figure out a couple teams. He's gonna be up on Tuesday, so if, eventually um we're gonna see him up very very soon. We're we're gonna have to look at a couple different team comps for him to work. Um, very cool hero indeed. Ultimately, I I can see PVP where he is gonna be really strong. Because remember, when he does that ability, when he does the perfect disguise, well immune, 90% of the damage dealt by the injured ally is converted into their own health. Um, essentially, he's giving that immunity for five seconds. So well immune, 50% of the damage dealt by the injured ally is converted into health. So it can do a heal, which he's been casting it on Rose. Ultimately, you're going to have to build, I'm, I'm thinking a powerhouse team to where the immunity is going to go on someone else um, or building a team with Lucretia. Um, ultimately, if he can keep Lucretia Im immune while she's doing damage, I think it would be very, very cool. Maybe running with Alna because Alna is already providing an immunity and ultimately getting this buff up as fast as possible as well as the um, health recovery and of course the healing recovery nerf in there guys so that is leo frick um very very cool new hero like i said patch notes will come up on monday like they normally do i'm assuming um he will be available on tuesday there's going to be a lot of different formations that we're going to have to see with him we're going to run his trials and see exactly what teams they're using him on a lot of times when we do the trials they bring they put him on really odd teams Honestly, when you do the arena, it seems like it's very odd teams that are built in there. But ultimately, guys, that is the brand new hero. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.